And like Gucci Spike, please get room, she's delicious tourists. Welcome to your love tarot reading. Abracadabra, baby. You are looking so scrumptious. Let me know in the comments below. Why are you so scrumptious, Taurus? We both know why, because you're a Taurus. All right, let's uh, do this, my bitches. We are doing you versus them, whatever that means to you. A relationship, a situation, ship, bumble, date, married. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm getting mixed up in my own intro. It's the classic, baby. We are assuming some kind of a, a rift or separation between you and your boop boop. And this is your July 2023 energy. All right, let's see. Please show me angels of love. What is happening? Victoria, sun, moon, rising, and Venus in their person. Oh, Taurus, such a glorious time. It's the summer in the Northern Hemisphere. It's your mommy's time. It's my time. I love the summer. Oh, broken hearts. Your person's taking, you know, this rift or separation period, they're taking that time to try and rest almost, you know, rest from the drama, rest from themselves. They're trying not to think about you. The more they try not to think about you, the more they think about you. This is the issue. You got justice here, how they see you. They see you as their karma, baby. And you know, someone tried, oh, the cards are just flying down. One second. I'm sorry, baby. The three of swords flew down. So, you know, someone's kind of mad about this whole heartbreak. This is, you know, I think it's definitely a separation. Someone's mad that there's a lot of heartbreak and pain happening between the two of you currently. Uh, they're trying to like, just like, you know, off the, like out of sight, out of mind, you know. Something was a house of cards as well. Let's see, what is the four swords about? Uh, if it's a religious person or spiritual, they're praying to whatever higher power they have access to, let's say. The four of wands, yeah. Yeah, they're thinking about you. They're trying not to think about you, but they miss you. They miss all the uh, scrumptiousness and security that you're giving them. There's a security to you. This person is a wounded warrior. Someone like someone here had a hard life, uh, Taurus. It's not an excuse for being, you know, a douche flute, but someone had a hard life, and you gave them a sense of scrumptiousness. Like they've never felt so scrumptious like they felt with you. You had like a home together. It was, you know, the perfect home. They know it. Justice coming out again. A lot of karma coming back around here. Let's see what happened in the past to make the situation so. They almost feel like they're just so tired, you know? They're so tired, they lost everything. It's like, maybe they feel like their life is over without you. I don't know. I don't know. If you have children together, they miss the children. They worry about this. Children were at stake. Mm, okay. It's okay, Taurus. You came out of this, Victorious, one way or another. Someone was choosing other things over you, the Three of Cups. Next to the Three of Cups, the, the lovers. Despite the love they had for you, they were choosing something that was not so scrumptious. Someone could be in recovery right now if they are uh, an addict or an alcoholic. If this is something that they were choosing, something you know that, that was like pleasurable, but it wasn't long-term pleasure. So it could have been like an addiction that they chose over you. Something frivolous. Something frivolous, something that wasn't worthwhile, they chose it over you. And they know it was a bad choice, and they miss you, and they miss home. Oh, so sad. <laughs> Taurus. Um, Taurus, before we get into your person's sad situation, let me just say welcome to Blue Angel Love Tarot, if you're new. And if you are a returning Blue Angel, thank you, I appreciate you, I love you. And I see you, baby, give mommy a kiss. You know, I love you so much because we are opposite signs. I'm Scorpio. You're Taurus. We're like two sides of the same coin of love. <laughs> the coin of love. Um, you know, you're like the day and I'm the night. You know, you're the sky and I'm the sea. Okay. You're the earth actually, but whatever. For contrast, whatever. For To paint a nice picture. Also, Taurus, if you're interested in a personal reading, all the information is down below in the description box. <sighs> This person loves you very, very much. If it was an established connection, they love you. You know they love you. They're committed to you, but they had a vice of some kind. They were choosing that over you. Could have been a personality trait. You know, like there's a frivolity to this person that just was not tolerable in the long term. Someone could have been dragging their feet on making a final commitment, like, you know, 
engagement, marriage, etc. Also strength care. So, you know, this person gave you a lot of struggles and they made you feel like it was always a fight. Uh, like you had to ask them to do everything. Like, you know, when, when are we going to move in together? When are you going to, you know, call me your boyfriend, girlfriend, and when in between? No, it was just everything was like, ah. Six of Wands, though, you know, either way you win, Taurus, because you know that you are scrumptious. And if you don't know, your mommy's telling you today, you are scrumptious and you deserve of the best of the best. No, no matter how much of a struggle it was with this person, it could have been issues around commitment here for sure. But you didn't want to be in a struggle with them. You know, you didn't want to be that person who's always like yanking the chain. You want this person to come to you and say, baby, I want us to have our life together. And they miss this now. You know, this is the thing. When they were in it, they were choosing like, you know, stupid behavior over commitment. And now they miss you, baby. Taurus, if it was a bimbo, himbo, anybody in between you met on Tinder on the Tuesday, it is someone who gave you the same kind of struggles. You had a great time with them, baby. You had a great time. And they were like, they kind of, you know, love at first sight, baby, because you're scrumptious and we know it, right? But at the same time, it was like frivolous and spicy, but it was also a power struggle. So, you know, this person pulled back their energy or they like yank their ear chain or they like nug you, like, you know, little, little too much kind of like, you know, not very funny humor. They would like try and get almost an argument out of you or try and play like toxic masculinity, toxic femininity, anything in between cards on you. You know, it's like that bad boy who comes into a dating situation. So it's like, oh, <laughs> you want to put the ball and try it on me? Like, you know, it's like stuff from the 19th century. And you were like, you know what? I am above this. I'm not playing this game. I'm not playing the game in the DMs. I'm not playing the silent treatment game. I'm just not playing any games. You want to have fun? Let's have fun. If you want to uh, have something more serious, let's talk about it. But I don't want to be the one chasing you down, you know? Maybe this person made you wait for them a lot, too. Or, you know, made you wait for, for their messages. They were leaving you on red. It was just like, but when you were together, it was just so spicy and, and scrumptious and cosmically good. Because there is love between you and could, it could be a past life love. So now, you know, now they're kind of in this moratorium and they're getting their karma. Definitely getting their karma. This person has learned that you were the one for them. And also, you know, because justice is coming up a lot. If this person had issues with commitment, they are cured. <laughs> Definitely want to marry now. Like that engagement is happening for sure. You're, you are the only one for them, but though. But they had to lose you to feel that energy. The theory of pentacles and their intentions, they do want to work it out. They may even be enlisting the help of friends or relatives to try and like get you back on track. And if it's like a super new energy, you just met them a couple of times, it's someone who's gonna try, like try, they're like thinking hard, like how do I like how do I approach this? You know? So they're asking their friends and family to give them advice. The Three of Swords, I think Bipil, honestly, in the next three days, three hours, three weeks, maybe even three months, you probably won't hear from this person because they feel like they did you too much of a Bipil. They're not feeling so strong in themselves, but sometime in the early fall, late fall, this person will be reaching out if you're in the Northern Hemisphere uh, with this Queen of Pentacles energy to send you a long message. They're working out what to say already. They need to digest the situation and they will be reaching out. And this is also your energy in this card, baby. So someone's, you know, coming to find you, Bippo. That is for sure. Ah, whatever you want to do, Taurus, you know. Uh, it's all about free will on this channel. Always remember to take everything I say with a grain of salt because I'm just a random woman on the internet. All right. And this is just a general reading on the internet. But let me know in the comments below. This is your douche flute. Also, if you vibe with my channel, Taurus, don't forget to like, subscribe, turn on the notification button, and comment below. Your comments especially and your likes help my videos so, so much because they tell my AI overlords that YouTube <laughs> overlords, um, that your mommy's been a good girl. And the new joke is like, your mommy's been a good girl. It should be, I mean, I'm sure it already is. A, a, only flans genre. Yeah, I say only flans. I love flans. All right, I'll see you next time. Taurus, stay spikely, stay gorgeous, stay moisturized, and may the angels protect you.